first step. To wash off the birch bark. And cleaned it up a little bit. A little bit of debris still on the inside. I took it straight off the um, buckle log. I try to keep the integrity of the piece together and I'm going to let it soak for a while before I start. The birch, I'm preparing several pieces in case uh, one gets punctured, um, but the uh, birch wasn't softening up enough just with the tap, so I'm deciding to boil some water in order to soften up the wood quickly. We'll see how this goes. All right, so this is technically plan, I don't know what anymore, but, so this is a piece of birch, and all the smaller pieces that I cut out earlier are underneath it. Um, Cause I was having a hard time submerging the pieces so that they got completely enveloped with the water in order to sort of like retain the water again. And so this is my plan for now and we'll see how it, how it turns out. I'll keep you guys posted. While I'm waiting for uh, the uh, birch to soak, I'm drawing out a design that I want for um, for the final look and pencil obviously because I'm not an artist um, and I'm just working with scale and, and other factors to see if I can create something that I would like to, to bead and so yeah so this is my current design it's like a faux flower and very um, typical of Métis beading is to have connecting vine work, so there's just some petals um, and like a flower bud and then like a half formed sort of flower, so to sort of have all three stages of, of creation on here um, is important. So as you can see I scrapped my larger design because it was going to be very difficult and so I just started on a simple flower again um, and so there's, I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's three yellow beads up in there or four rather, my anchor bead is the middle here and then three sort of first rounding beads um, so that's what I've decided to do for now the larger piece that I was working on, I do have it sort of sketched out on here, um, but just noticing from this first couple of of strings here that this would take a long time and is quite difficult to do. So I will keep you guys posted on how it goes. Here's the middle, pretty much done. Um, like I said, it's much harder than doing it on on felt or any other materials. Um, but I think it's coming along nicely. Hi everyone. I just wanted to let you guys know that unfortunately the project didn't work out the way I expected it to. Um, actually, the I found out through talking to Kelly, um, the artist that we have elsewhere on this page, that uh, I was actually supposed to take um, a lot of layers off the birch, which is not what I did. Um, and so after breaking God knows how many needles, I'm actually gonna give up on that project. Um, I'm gonna see if I can make sort of another vlog or something about the experience and the things that I learned um, from doing that. So hopefully it'll work out. Um, learned so much anyways, even if I didn't actually end up with something to touch. Um, still lots of fun. So yeah. Thank you for coming with me on the ride. I'm sorry it didn't work out the way I wanted it to. But uh, yeah, hopefully this all works out at some point.